Chapter 24 During Jehoiakim's reign, King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon invaded the land of Judah. Jehoiakim surrendered and paid him tribute for three years, but then rebelled. Then the Lord sent bands of Babylonian, Aramean, Moabite, and Ammonite raiders against Judah to destroy it, just as the Lord had promised through his prophets. These disasters happened to Judah according to the Lord's command. He had decided to remove Judah from his presence because of the many sins of Manasseh. He had filled Jerusalem with innocent blood, and the Lord would not forgive this. The rest of the events of Jehoiakim's reign and all his deeds are recorded in the book of the history of the kings of Judah. When Jehoiakim died, his son Jehoiakim became the next king. The king of Egypt never returned after that, for the king of Babylon occupied the entire area formerly claimed by Egypt, from the brook of Egypt to the Euphrates River. Jehoiakim was eighteen years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem three months. His mother was Nehushta, the daughter of Elnathan from Jerusalem. Jehoiakim did what was evil in the Lord's sight, just as his father had done. During Jehoiakim's reign, the officers of King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon came up against Jerusalem and besieged it. Nebuchadnezzar himself arrived at the city during the siege. Then King Jehoiakim, along with his advisers, nobles, and officials, and the queen mother, surrendered to the Babylonians. In the eighth year of Nebuchadnezzar's reign, he took Jehoiakim prisoner. As the Lord had said beforehand, Nebuchadnezzar carried away all the treasures from the Lord's temple and the royal palace. They cut apart all the gold vessels that King Solomon of Israel had placed in the temple. King Nebuchadnezzar took ten thousand captives from Jerusalem, including all the princes and the best of the soldiers, craftsmen, and smiths. So only the poorest people were left in the land. Nebuchadnezzar led King Jehoiakim away as a captive to Babylon, along with his wives and officials, the queen mother, and all Jerusalem's elite. He also took seven thousand of the best troops, and one thousand craftsmen and smiths, all of whom were strong and fit for war. Then the king of Babylon installed Mataniah, Jehoiakim's uncle, as the next king, and he changed Mataniah's name to Zedekiah. Zedekiah was twenty-one years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem eleven years. His mother was Hamutal, the daughter of Jeremiah from Libna. But Zedekiah did what was evil in the Lord's sight, just as Jehoiakim had done. So the Lord in his anger finally banished the people of Jerusalem and Judah from his presence and sent them into exile. Then Zedekiah rebelled against the king of Babylon.